In the last video, we created a self-signed SSL certificate, in this video, we will learn how to create a CA certified SSL certificate. Clients will probably get this warning message from the browser when you secure your website with a self-signed certificate. Because self-signed SSLs are less secure. I will show you in this video how to get a free trusted SSL with CA signed. Without further ado, let's start. Let's open Keystore Explorer tool, I hope you have already installed it. If not, please watch my previous video for the same. Let's create a new Keystore. Right click and choose Generate Key Pair. Just fill this form. Please give an alias name. Provide a password for encrypting the key store. Let's export private key. Please note I'm not encrypting the key only because I'm using Nginx for web hosting, in your case you can encrypt. Let's create a CSR. Show a path for storing. Done. Let's go to the path. You can see our CSR. Let's open it in Notepad. This is our CSR. We have to validate our CSR, just go to CSR Checker. Just paste the contents of CSR here. You can see our CSR contents are an exact match with the data, which we entered earlier. Go to the GoGet SSL website in order to get a free trusted SSL. Here I'm choosing a free trail 90 days SSL. Click on next step. Let's log in. If you have no account then you can sign up by clicking on create an account. Click on complete order. Go to SSL certificate. Click on view. Click on generate certificate. Just paste our CSR content here. Click on Validate CSR. Here you can see some validation methods, let's choose DNS. Click on Next. Just fill out the form, and just blurring here due to it is a little bit of critical data for me. Click on Complete Generation. You can see something is processing here. Go to Dashboard. You can see our CSR is processing. Click on View. OK, it is asking for domain validation. Click on Domain Validation. 
Okay, we got a DNS record for CNAME validation. Go to your domain manager, on my case it is GoDaddy. Let's log in. Go to DNS Manage. We have to add those records under the C name. Just copy C name key. Same like copy the C name value. Click on add record. Seems everything is perfect, click on save. Done, DNS entries added. Go back to go get SSL. Still it is impending. Let's refresh it. Okay it is revalidating. It will take about 3 minutes, I'm just fast forwarding. Okay, validation is over. Go to dashboard. Go to SSL certificate. Go to view. Done, our SSL certificate is ready. Just download the certificates. I'm just moving all files to another folder. Okay, let's open the certificate. Here you can see our certificate is signed by Goget SSL that implies it become trusty. Let's extract the bundle. Next, we are going to install this SSL into my Nginx server. Let's open WinSCP. Let's log into Nginx server. Copy the certificate to Nginx default location and rename to server.crt. Create a folder named private and copy the private key which we created earlier. Let's restart the engine X service.
Yes, it is working as expected. You can see, now browser is rendering our website without any errors or warnings. But there is a problem. We have missed one thing. Normally in our understanding we will check whether SSL is currently installed or not by just accessing your website in a browser, but we can't ensure that will work in all browsers. For that we have to check SSL checking websites. Go to SSLshopper.com Click on SSL Checker Provide your domain name for checking Here you can see some warnings, because we have not linked intermediate and root certificates with our SSL, without that, some browsers will show you some warning messages, even if your SSL is trusted. Don't worry I will show you, how to add both certificates to our SSL. Did you notice, we have got two more certificates along with our certificate from the GoGet SSL website. Both are the intermediate and root certificates. We have to add both certificates into our existing certificate, it is very easy. Just open our SSL in Notepad and append both certificates to it. First append intermediate certificate then root certificate. Done, you can see both certificates we are added to our domain certificate. The order should be, first domain certificate, then intermediate certificate, last root certificate. Just save it. Next, we have to replace the existing SSL certificate with updated one. Again log into our Nginx server. OK replaced, next we have to restart the Nginx server. OK Nginx has restarted. Let's got to SSLshopper.com for checking. Done, we can see all certificate chains are present in our new SSL certificate. Now we can say our SSL is trusted by all browsers. Thank you for watching this video, please like and subscribe if you felt this video is useful, in our next video we will show you how to secure your Nginx web server.